the first time since 2006, the Supermoto of Nations takes place in Spain and 23 countries have travelled from all over the world to the Motorland Circuit at Alcaniz, located in the lower Aragon region of this country. The atmosphere here has been electric all weekend and the ancient city with its large medieval monuments and charming castle, the Castillo Calatravo, that stands right at the top of the hill provides the perfect backdrop for this sixth edition of the FIM Supermoto of Nations. Well, at the side of the old and the fascinating history of this enchanted place is the innovative Motorland, a great complex divided into several areas dedicated to sports, leisure, culture and also technology through the Techno Park Motorland area. And this 1180 metre long circuit that's going to be fast and technical will provide the riders with a difficult task this weekend. Let's take a look at this circuit in close detail. We're on board with David Jimenez of Spain. Short start straight into a 90 degree left and immediately then we're into the sky zone, the off-road section that measures around about 350 meters long. As you can see, it's quite hard and slick, a little bit of sand in there as well. So it's going to be very, very tricky for the riders this weekend through this double apex right hand up and then we are through some wave section here, three or four waves through there. You can see a split line inside or outside. Then we're back onto the asphalt section, the slide zone, through a couple of kinks. Then we have a long straight. The riders going across to the left and sweeping across from the right hand side just to hug the inside of the curb there. A long left hander that is. And then a short straight into this right hander. Then we have the asphalt wave section over a tabletop jump. Back on the gas before breaking hard into this right hand turn. Then we're back on a straight, just kissing the curb through here. And then we come into the final corners. A right, left, right chicane combination that takes us back over the start finish. That's a lap of this Motorland circuit. Well, last year's winners, France, took the slow walk to the podium to deliver the Francesco Zerbi trophy to the top step of the podium. The big question though, would they be reclaiming it at the end of the weekend? The trio here of Thomas Scherer, Sylvain Bidard and Boris Chambon will be doing their best to keep hold of this wonderful trophy, but it ain't gonna be easy. Soy Josep Alonso, team manager del equipo español. I'm Josep Alonso, team manager of the Spanish team. We're in Spain at the Alcaniz Circuit. It's a fast and technical track featured with a long off-road. I think we can battle for a good result. Everyone, I'm Francesco Cucherera and I'll dispute the Sopamoto of Nations with Team Spain. We are the home country, so I hope this track that we already know will bring us good luck. And if we will not be battling for the victory, at least we'll try to stay close to last year's champions. Hey, I'm Israel Escalera. I represent Team Spain at the Supermoto Nations. I'm very happy I've been selected, and for sure I hope to collect good results and help Spain realize all that is possible. Hey, I'm David Jimenez, rider of the Spanish squad, and we are all hosting this nation this year. We'll try to do a good job. It's a race based on teamwork. So we'll try not to make any mistakes in order to collect a good classification. I'm Attilio Pignotti, team manager of the 2011 Maglia Azzurra Supermoto. Our riders are Christian Revaglia. We're here at this track. It's new for everybody, it's very beautiful and technical. We're already feeling the pressure, but we're ready for the race and we'll try to come home with the best result possible. I'm very happy I've been selected and I'll try to do my best. Well, for sure, there is pressure and the concentration will both be high. And the young promise, Teo Monticelli. This is the first time I've been picked for the national team, Meglia Zura. That was my dream, so I hope to do well and not disappoint the expectations of Supermoto Italian fans. 
nostro obiettivo. Well, our aim is a podium as we did last year. So Hi, my name is Kleber Justino, model number 35. I'm launching Brazil. Hi, my name is Rafael Fonseca. I'm rider number 36 and I come here from Brazil for a launching. Hello, my name is Juliano Meira. My bike is 34 and I ride there from Lavantin, Brazil. Supermodel of Nations is a great challenge. I work hard to be here and here I am. It's for me it's a pleasure to represent my, my country. It's a big race, it's a different. All countries stay here. It's a good and see you. Ciao. Valeu, galera. Um abraço, Brasil. Four Nations battling it out for the victory of the 2011 FIM Supermoto of Nations. Surprising Nations here for the front row uh, with uh, Finland as Kingling. Feelings before this great event? It's very good feeling now. It's very hot, but I tried fast, got fast and good position from finish line. And Pavel Kemar for Czech Republic. Before race. For my feeling very nice because I three position on the start and I think good start for me because I see now line and I think I be top three. first race of the weekend then and it's the group one and group two riders this is how the riders qualified or the nations qualified it was France on pole from Finland the Czech Republic Italy Bulgaria Germany Spain and Great Britain down there in eighth and there you see the two riders at the side of each nation that's who will take part in the first of this race the lights go out and it's a good start from the left hand side for the red plate, the blue machine, Thomas Scherer, the defending champion of France. And just behind him, the number 11, Aseri Kingelin of Finland. We're on board with Pavel Kemar, who's in fourth, just gets Paso by Marcus Klass, the German rider. But up front, it's Thomas Scherer, Aless, uh, Aseri Kingelin there. And Thomas Scherer, oh, loses the front end. And Scherer picks himself up. He's losing positions here on the opening lap. And is that Mano Man oh, Hermann and goes through. So Hermann and then, so we've got two Finnish riders ahead of the French riders at the start of this first race. Oh, Alexi Mary Luce hasn't even made it round the first lap. The French junior rider who was a part of the winning team of France last year. So up front then we have a new leader and that's Kingelin actually, number 11 for Finland. Just behind him, Marcus Klass and Pavel Kemar there, second and third. So we've got the German and the Czech rider. That's still the same through the dirt section. There is Manu Hermanen in fourth position. And Thomas Scherer now up into sixth place, battling with Matt Stanley of Great Britain. And just behind these two yellow machines here, there is 29 Kmart, just having a look at Marcus Klass of Germany. That's the battle for second position as they go back over the start finish line and through turn one. Oh, gets it all wrong, does number 10. That's Manu Hermanen. And Matt Stanley picks himself up just behind the fin, so after closing in, 
And challenging for the lead, the number 10 there, Manu Hermanen. Here we see it again on board. He just loses a front end right in front of Pebble Kmart. And Kmart manages to avoid the fallen finish rider. Back with our new race leader then, the number 11. The Finnish teammate to Manu Hermanen. And he's seriously being challenged by Pavel Kmart. Kmart goes through and retakes the lead. So Kmart then of the Czech Republic. Number 29, he leads. Number 11, Kingelin of Finland. There's the French rider, Sylvain Vidar. And Vidar down around about 7th position, challenging with Gaston Vivas of Argentina, that number 50 rider. Meanwhile, the Spanish favourites, Cucurera. He's up there in the mix, and he's around about 8th, ninth place. Thomas Scherer, meanwhile, though, he's on the charge, and up into 6th place. Trying to salvage some more points. Remember the Supermoto of Nations. It's not 25 for a win, 22 for second, and so on. It's one point for a win, then two for second. Oh, and who's that gone down? The number seven. That's Andre Plogman of Germany, and he's taken out Lee Williams of the Great Britain Junior Squad. And our leaders there, Manu Hermanen and Pavel Kmart, do their best to avoid that as they go through. Well, the checkered flag goes out there. It's going to be a win for Manu Hermanen. He wins it from Pavel Kmart. Thomas Scherer gets through to third. So let's have a look at the official classification then. Manu Hermanen of Finland from Pavel Kmar, second of the Czech Republic. Scherer was third, Win Stanley, a great ride for him, Great Britain in France. And then it was Bidar, Beltrami, Kingelin and Kareniatov down in eighth. And the overall classification after the first race looks like this. Finland and France share the lead. They're on eight points apiece. Great Britain having a good start in third with Spain, the favourites, in fourth with the Czech Republic down in fifth. Race two then, the riders line up to the grid. This time it's Sylvain Bidar and Boris Chambon of France, Kingelin and Tony Clem for Finland, Kmar and Petr Vordacek for the Czech Republic. And as you see the list go down, remember they don't change their grid positions. This is how they qualified on Saturday. But Finland and France in the driving seat. The lights get ready to go out, and they do so for the second of these 19 lap races, and it looked immediately like a good start for the number two of Sylvain Bidar of France. On board with Pavel Kmar as he goes through into the off-road section, and he's buried well and truly down in the pack at the moment, but uh, just behind as they squeeze their way through, it's Bidar, and we've got riders down. Now, was that Kingelin that went down for Team Finland after a good start? I think it was in the background. So we've got uh, Sylvain Bidar, Peter Volacek, number 30 of the Czech Republic. It looks like Chris Hodgson made a good start for Great Britain, number 17 in third place. And the Italian, Teo Monticelli, number six, is down in fourth. Juris Nastron of Slovenia is down in fifth on the number 33 machine. Then we've got Massimo Beltrami down in around seventh. So the Italians having a better start this time around. The two-time champions looking to try and pick up as many points as possible in this second race. There's Hodgson, there was Beltrami. The number 17 and the number five. As they come back onto the start, finish straight. There's Monticelli, number six. And Hodgson just behind him, number 17. And there was a flash of green there. That's Juris uh, Nestran of Slovenia. As they head through the dirt section, number five holding a very tight line there. There is the six and the five. So two Italians either side of Nastran and Hodgson. So looking good for Team Italy in this second race in terms of their low score that they will carry through to moto number three. But as you can see, they're all battling third, fourth, fifth. Well, there's the number 48, the 95 and the 29. That's Israel Escalera, René Estebar and Pavel Kmart. 
And we're on board with Kmart. And he, oh, he clips the rear end of René Estebao and goes down again. Oh, Beltrami's gone out as well. So one of the Italian riders goes out on lap six. Meanwhile, that battle for third position still continues between Teo Monticelli, the newest member to the Italian team, and the number 33 there in green, Euros Nestran. Our race leader, Sylvain Bedard. Well and true. Oh, and Nestran goes out. So Nestran goes out of, what, fourth position. So that lets off Teo Monticelli. He lets him off the hook. He's there in third position. There's Escalara in fourth for, uh, the, for Team Spain, riding number 48. And he's having a great ride. So Spain looking like they're going to be up in the mix in terms of the overall classification. Well, the flag goes out and it's going to be a win for Sylvain Bidart. So he wins for Team France. Peter Vornacek second ahead of Teo Monticelli for Team Italy. Then Israel Escalera, great ride for him in fourth place. Then we had Chris Hodgson, a better ride for him in fifth. Alexander uh, Ivanutin in sixth. Boris Chambon for France in seventh. David Jimenez, another Spaniard in there in eighth. And the classification in terms of where everybody lies now. France take another eight points. They go to 16, Great Britain now move to second, Spain a third, ahead of Finland who dropped from first to fourth, Argentina, Austria, Czech Republic and Russia down there in eighth. So looking good for Team France at the moment, they have half the amount of points of anybody else. Great Britain there knocking on the door though for that win. Good morning everybody, I'm Thomas Charest, I'm 23 and I race for Team France. My number plate is one. We hope to win as we won it last year. The team is strong, we get along good together and we'll try to do our best this weekend with my two crazy teammates. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Boris Chambon. I'm 36. I'm Team France number three. It's my first time I've been selected to ride for Team France at the Supermoto Nations. And with Thomas and Sylvain, we'll do our best to bring home the trophy. I am Sylvain Bidard. I'm 26. I ride the Honda number two for Team France. And it's the second time I'm taking part in the Supermoto Nations. This year I'm in the team with Boris and Thomas. And we truly care about this competition and we aim to win it just like we did last year. My name is Anatoly Todorov and I am uh, team manager Supermoto team Bulgaria. Uh, last year we are not in uh, this uh, race uh, Supermoto Nation, uh, but this year I uh, expect uh, a good race and a uh, good position from, uh, from our riders. Hello, I'm Ross Antonchev. I ride for team Bulgaria. My number is 104. Hi, my name is Alexander Gorgiev. I race for Team Bulgaria and my number is 102. Hi, my name is Angel Karanyotov. My team is Bulgaria team. My number is 103. Third and final moto of the weekend then. Who will be crowned the Supermoto of Nations winners? Well, France are in the driving seat at the moment. They are on 16 points. Great Britain second on 34. Then we have Spain on 36. They're 10 ahead of Finland, who have gone from first to fourth after that first race. And Argentina, first time here for them. They're in fifth place on 53. The lights go out again, and from the left-hand side, it looks like the number one swooping in, Thomas Charette, just like he did in moto number one. Who's he got with him, though? The number 16, it looks like. Is it? Yeah, Matt Wynn Stanley for Great Britain. So the first two nations, uh, Nes Nastran going through in third. Kucherera goes through in fourth place. 
And it looks like we've got a little bit further down, way down the order, in fact, the number 10 of Manu Hermanen of Finland. So, uh, Team Finland, they're not where they want to be at the moment in this early stage of the race. Tony Clam, his teammate, is a little bit further down. As we look at the battles going on further down the field, there is the number 12, Clem. Oh, Carlson goes out for Sweden. Up the inside, that's Nastrat having a look. It wasn't Nastrat actually, it was the number four. That was Christian Ravaglia. And Ravaglia and Guerin having a bit of a battle there. There's the number seven. He's having a better ride. Blogman of Germany. Remember, he fell in moto number one with Lee Williams. He's got Manu Herman and just behind him for Team Finland. Oh, and there's a big crash there. Couldn't quite see who that was, but uh, certainly the front end going in that off-road section. That's where we lost Manu Hermanen a little earlier on. And Hermanen going for Plogman up the inside as he continues to fight through. And the Finn finds a way through. Well, he's still got plenty of time to uh, get his way further up the leaderboard. There is the number four. That's Christian Rivaglia of Team Italy. Their chances are pretty much over in terms of winning this sixth edition of the FIM Nations. There we have Cucciaria and Lorenzato. And the number 51, Lorenzato. Not making it easy. Manu Herman in though. Easily up the inside of the 102, but that's uh, one of the back markers. That's Georgiev. But 51, Matias Lorenzato of Argentina, certainly putting his nation on the map this year. Yellow flags are out. Oh, look at that. Thomas Scherer around the outside. He's led every single lap of this race so far and making it look so easy. Matt Winstanley continues to circulate in second position. Nastran is third for Slovenia, fourth. Looks like now is uh, Manu Hermanen, the number 10. There is 33, Nastrand in that third position. And he has, he's got Manu Hermanen breathing all down his neck on the final lap here. There's Matt Win Stanley, oh, in second position, almost gets taken out by a back marker. So a lucky escape there for the Brit. Thomas Scherer goes through, there's Nastrand in second position. Oh, Win Stanley got caught up in that crash. So it was a win then for Thomas Scherer. Nestrand comes over the line in second. Manu Hermanen will come over the line in third. But more importantly, France will win the Nations yet again for the third time. But it's Scherer, Nestrand, Hermanen. Matt Win Stanley unlucky with that fall on the last lap. Then it was Ravaglia for Italy, Plogman of Germany, Monticelli, and Guerin of the French junior team. But look at that, the French team celebrate. They have the lowest score of all. They were able to drop that 15th from race three from Boris Shambon. They take 17 points. Great Britain, 37. Finland were back on the podium in third. Italy, fourth. Spain, they're going to have to be happy with fifth place overall. So this is how the podium looks then. Third overall, Team Finland. Their riders are Manu Hermanen, Aseri Kingelin and Tony Klem. They were third two years ago in Bulgaria. They were fourth last year in Cahor, just outside of the town there. Second overall, Great Britain. Great to be back on the podium for those guys. But uh, look at this. The Francesco Zerbi trophy presented to Team France. They delivered the trophy to the podium at the start of the weekend. And they're going to be taking it back. Dr. Wolfgang Schrub, the director of the FIM CMS, on hand to deliver the goods for them. So a great weekend for Team France. Well, it's super. It's great. We're very happy. We won again the Supermoto and Nations. I want to say thanks to my mates and to everybody. And once more, bravo to the three of us. Yeah, thank you to my fellow teammates who allowed me to gain the plate. Thank you. Simplement, vive la France. So the French in good spirits as they take this Francesco Zerbi trophy for the third time in the six years that we've grant the nations.
Well, that's it. Join us in a couple of weeks' time for the final Grand Prix of the season. We go back to France and Cahors. My name's Paul Mellon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye for now.